Hi guys, we are going to do the sunlight readability test now. Um, now I've kept a small watch face, so it should be difficult to see. Now this is how it looks like under direct sunlight. Now the screen is not on. Let me put it on. So it's a little reflective, not that much. The OLED screen is uh, pretty visible in the sunlight. Let me change menus. So you can see that under sunlight you can see it properly so you don't have to strain your eyes so uh, it's good under direct sunlight. Okay let's take a look at the Fitbit Charge 2. Now uh, the Charge 2 comes with an always on uh, heart, uh, heart rate monitor. So you can see the green light blinking. So that's what illuminates your hand and then the sensor in between picks up your heartbeat. Now uh, uh, this can be switched off from the app. So uh, you don't have to keep it on always. In the app you have an option to uh, switch the heart rate monitor off. And it comes with removable watch straps. So all you have to do is press this outwards and push it. And the strap comes off. Now, it's, uh, if you look at it, it's a combination of plastic, metal and glass. So, this entire portion is glass. In the middle, it's all metal. And at the bottom, it's plastic. You cannot use uh, a regular strap. You will have to uh, buy them from Fitbit. Uh, they do not come with uh, um, regular straps that you can change it with. Uh, this is not waterproof it's just water resistant water resistant means it will resist water but will not stop the water from going in so if there's any pressure of some kind like uh, if you put water with pressure on it or if you uh, put it under water uh, there's a chance that water will go in I have seen some videos where people have tried using Fitbits uh, underwater and nothing has happened to them but that's at their own risk Fitbit does not take any responsibility of that now uh, this is a touch sensitive uh, glass or uh, rather it's a tap sensitive glass uh, it will not respond to uh, things where like you cannot swipe it it will not respond to all of that but it will respond to taps so uh, once you're in any menu like for example I'm in the heart rate so this is showing me my current heart rate if I tap it it shows me my resting heart rate now if I go to the exercise options then right now it's run I can choose weights treadmill workout so all these options are available for me stopwatch so I can just start the stopwatch from here okay relax so uh, with this model you get a option to train yourself uh, in breathing so it helps you in relaxing uh, I tried it once uh, it's not for me but for people who want to relax uh, for them it might be good so you can change the timing over here how long do you want to relax so it's all about breathe in breathe out all of that you can switch off the notification from here and it shows the battery life and back to the watch face the watch face can be changed according to whatever you want um, there are a few watch face on Fitbit uh, on the Fitbit app uh, clock display and you get these options so whichever is good for you you can keep that now the bigger uh, the watch face is it's better uh, to view in the sunlight so here is the heart rate on or off or auto option and uh, according to whatever Fitbit you have the menu changes so these are the notifications reminders main goals risk placement handedness now uh, if you want accurate data make sure you choose these right like if you are a left-handed person then make sure that uh, you wear the band on your right hand so that 
you do not get false steps and if you're a right-handed uh, person then make sure you wear it on the left hand and handedness means which hand are you prone to use most often so uh, sometimes even if you are a right-handed person you're prone to use the left hand more uh, for other work so that is handedness so you have to choose these two options uh, properly so that you get better uh, results now the straps are pretty secure but uh, if you try to move them a little I'll try to zoom in you can see that it does have a slight movement see so it doesn't fall off but still it moves it's properly locked in it's not loose but still it has that much of give one thing I really liked about this strap is once you strap in and put it through the loop the loop itself has a teeth over here which goes into this hole and doesn't allow it to come off so it even if you pull it it won't come off that easily like I'll show it to you again okay so now it's locked in now it is really hard to get it out so it's pretty secure pretty solid uh, I really like the band it doesn't irritate your hand at all and uh, uh, it stays in your hand and you don't have to worry that how uh, it's gonna fall off one more good thing about the Fitbit uh, charge 2 is that uh, it recognizes when you're uh, when you lift up the watch and you face the watch face to towards yourself when when your hand is down and you want to watch see the time or your heart rate you just lift it up and it automatically lights up so you do not have to press the button every time there so it works pretty well so guys that's it for this video now if you like the video please subscribe uh, press the like button and uh, i'll be back with more videos bye bye